that breaking news about racial controversy, the law firm overseeing the investigation into a racist photo on Governor Ralph Northam's 1984 EVMS yearbook says it cannot say for sure whether he is in that photo. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lex Gray. And I'm Don Roberts. Eastern Virginia Medical School hired McGuire Woods Law Firm to conduct the investigation into the past culture of the school. Now, three months later, the law firm released its findings. Our Andy Fox joins us live now from the EVMS campus in Norfolk. So, Andy, what else did that investigation find? Okay, Lex and Don, a lot of ground to cover, so let's get right to it. This is the picture that's in question. This is what the findings of the investigation include. The investigation could not conclusively determine the identity of either individual depicted in the photograph. The governor himself has made inconsistent public statements in this regard. No individual interviewed has told any personal knowledge that the governor is in the photograph and no individual with knowledge has come forward to report that the governor is in the photograph. The picture made its way to the yearbook because there was little oversight. The investigation identified no information that indicates any faculty or administrator edited or censored student photographs or the general context contents of the yearbook. Now, we asked the lead investigator, Richard Cullen, about what the governor told him, explaining how he apologized for the picture, then came out and denied that he was in the picture. As best uh, as he could explain, and what we heard was that while he, from the very first moment on Friday, said, I do not believe this is me in the photograph. He qualified that to a certain extent by saying, I don't think that's me. I don't remember that. And his staff was faced with a dilemma, and that is laid out uh, in the report and in the, in the interviews with the staff. The dilemma was because he wasn't saying 100% as other politicians might have said, um, they said you can either deny it outright or you can apologize for it. Those are your only two choices, Governor. And he told us that the most important thing to him is his honesty and his reputation for honesty. And he decided initially to go with the apology as opposed to the outright denial. And Cullen also told us that that shocked his staff because they wanted him to deny and not to apologize. This is James Boyd, president of the NAACP Portsmouth. What is your conclusion of this investigation? And I think the conclusion of the investigation is this was a PR campaign to try to uh, construct, reconstruct the image of Ralph Northam and EVMS. That's what I think this report was about. And you asked Cullen, you said, are you the governor's attorney? Yeah, uh, I asked him directly uh, because he came up there and defended uh, more than tried to get to the bottom of what the governor uh, did in the yearbook photo. Were you surprised by what was the conclusion here? Uh, I, not surprised, uh, but disappointed. We said uh, that we had uh, some real concerns about the investigation. They were just solidified here today. Now, one of the questions that I asked was the uh, president of EVMS. I said they knew actually that this yearbook exist existed during the gubernatorial campaign. Right. And he said, if I had known what I know now, I would have taken it out of the library right here so no one could see it. And then I said, well, wouldn't that make the scandal even bigger? We have if a, we had found that out. There's a culture of concealment here, Andy, where the president said to you and said to others in the room, said to me, that he would not do this over again if he had the opportunity. That is extremely concerning. It speaks to his mentality as well as Ralph Northam's mentality. Right, because that is making it look like he said that if he had the chance to do it again, he would have taken the yearbook out of the library so we didn't see it, and it happened during the gubernatorial campaign. We're used to this, Andy, where those who do offensive things use power to try to conceal it. Today was just another example of it, unfortunately, and it's sad for the black citizens of the state of Virginia not to have some type of uh, answers here in this investigation. James Boyd, thank you very much. We'll hear more from James coming up. Uh, we also want to point out that the governor is traveling to Roanoke. He was confronted about this by reporters out there. He would not make a comment. He said, I'm going back to Richmond. I'm going to read the report and I'll have a statement later on this afternoon. That's the latest on this news conference that was held down here at EVMS in Norfolk. Andy Fox, 10 on your side.